Welcome, amazing one. And let's solve this beautiful geometrical problem together. Relax is just so easy. Now, looking at this, this is your trapezium. And we are asked to find the area. You know too well that the area is the amount of space inside this plane sheet. Now, from this diagram, we have it that length AB is 10, BC is 14, CD is 25, and AD is 13. Now, for us to calculate the area, just remember this, that for every trapezium, the area is always given as half into, we have it as, remember, these two sides are parallel. So the, these two lengths sum it together. So we're going to have length AB plus length CD. Whatever value you have, you multiply it by the height. I'm looking at this, the height is the perpendicular height from this down to this line. It's also the same as what you will have here. So if this is our height and this is our height, you observe that we are given AB in the question and CD is also given, but we don't know the height. Now the question is, how do we find this height? I'm taking you through that step by step. Now, when you look at this, you observe that we have actually formed a right angle because this is perpendicular height. So we have formed a rectangle from this particular shape and we can name this, this is our M, let's name this M and this is N. Now, if this is true, remember for a rectangle, whenever you have a rectangle, the opposite sides are the same. So if here is 10, automatically this length should be 10. Now, from length A to B is given as 10. We can also have it that M to N is also 10 units. So we can have it that from here to here is 10 units. So let's adjust. This is 10, but the total length is what we have as 25. So we have this length is 25 units. Now, what do you do from this point? We can now say, let, let dm, let this place be equal to, so we have let length dm be equal to x. So if from here to here is x, you observe that the total length is 25. So if from here to here is x and from m to n is 10, can we find n to c? Yes. So we can have it that length nc is equal to the total length, which is 25, minus, subtract these two. So we have minus x minus 10. And when you subtract this, 25 take away 10 gives us 15 minus x. So length nc is equal to 15 minus x. It means that this particular length here is given as 15 minus x. Interesting. Now, what do we do with this? Let me show you what you would do. Now, you look at this, you observe that this shape, let's bring it out. This shape has formed a right triangle. And if this is right triangle, we have it that here is our height and this is the perpendicular. This is D to M and that is X. And from here to here is given as 13. Now, using our Pythagorean's theorem, what do we have? We have it that, using our Pythagorean's theorem, we have it that the length, the, the longest side, which is this, is 13 squared, is equal to the sum of the two tails squared. So we're going to have x squared, and this is h squared. So keep simplifying. 13 squared is 13 multiplied two times, and that gives you 169 is equal to x squared plus h squared. Let's call this equation one. Now bring out this shape again. We are going to have, let's bring it out. So this is what we have. This is 14 units. From here to here, which is our NC, we have seen is 15 minus x. And from B to N, here is B. B to N is the same height. Using the same Pythagoras theorem, we have it that our longest side, which is BC, is 14 squared, is equal to H squared 
plus 15 minus x all squared. Now, simplifying this, we are going to have 14 squared is 14 multiplied two times, and that is 196 is equal to x squared plus. To expand this, just remember for every a minus b raised to power 2 is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So let's apply this in expanding this. So this is our a and this is b. So we're going to have 15 squared minus 2 multiply 15 multiply x then plus our x squared. Interesting. Now keep solving this from here. We are going to have 196 is equal to x squared plus 15 squared gives us 225. Multiply this, you have negative 30x plus x squared. Now keep simplifying. And for you to have watched through this point, it shows what you do interesting. Don't forget to give this a like, share with your friends. Let's know what you feel about this class in the comment. Thank you. And let's keep doing this to have 196 is equal to, let's bring this to, so we have 225 minus 30x plus x squared plus x squared. Now we can call this equation two. Now, remember, we left a statement behind that x squared plus h squared is equal to 169. So in that case, we are going to put equation 1 into 2. So we will put equation 1 into equation 2. So if you do that, we are going to have 196 is equal to 225 minus 30x. h squared plus x squared is the same thing as this. So we are going to replace this with 169. Interesting. So keep simplifying. This gives us 196. This is positive. Take it to the left. To the left, it gives us negative 225. Take this to the left. It gives us negative 169 is equal to negative 30x. Keep solving. So this gives us, subtract this, we have negative 198 is equal to negative 30x. So this is the same as negative 30x is equal to negative 198. To get x, divide both sides by negative 30. This takes off. So we're going to have x is equal to, this goes off. So 2 here is 9. 2 in 18 is 9. 2 here will give us 15. 3 here will give us 5. 3 here gives us 33. So we have 33 divided by 5, and that gives us the value of x. Now, with this value of x, we are going to take it back to find the height for us to calculate the area. And let's do that together to have. So let's recall from equation 1 that 169 is equal to x squared plus h squared. And if x is this, we are going to have 169 is equal to 33 divided by 5 squared, then plus x squared. Now, what do you do next? We are going to take this to the left side. It's going to be negative. So we have 169 minus 33 divided by 5 squared is equal to x squared. Keep solving. 169, as you know, is the same as 13 squared. So we're going to have 13 squared minus 33 divided by 5 squared is equal to h squared. Now, from the left, this reminds you of a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now, applying this on the left side, we are going to have 13 plus 33 on 5, then we now have it, this is for this, so we have 13 minus 33 on 5 is equal to h squared. Now what do you do? To simplify this, this is the same as you, using this is the same as 13 over 1, so we can use this to multiply this, use this to multiply, and then multiply the denominator. So multiply this by 5, it gives us 65 
multiply this, it gives us 33 divided, multiply the denominator is 5. Then for this, we are going to have the same, which is 65 minus 33 divided by 5 is equal to x squared. Keep solving, we have add this, it gives us 98 divided by 5 is to be multiplied with subtract this, we are going to have 32 is divided by 5, and that is equal to x squared. So multiply this, 98 multiplied by 32 gives us 3136. Multiply this, it gives us 25 is equal to x squared. Keep solving. So this gives us x squared is equal to 3136 divided by 25. Now, because we are working on sides, the height is the side of the shape. We are only going to take, to remove this square, you know, you need to square root. So, but we are only going to take the positive square root of this since we are working on sides. So we're going to have square root of 3136 divided by 25. And this is the same as square root of 3136 divided by square root of 25. And in that case, we have H is equal to square root of this gives us 56 and the square root of 25 gives us 5. So this gives us the value of the height. Now that we have found the height, let's now calculate the area of this shape to have. The area of this trapezium is half into this length, which we said is 10 plus D to C, which we have seen as 25, then multiply it by the height, which is 56 divided by 5. Now we're going to now have area is equal to half. Add this, it gives us 35. So let's remove this bracket. So we are multiplying this by 56 on 5. This is the same as over 1. So we have it 5 here is 1. 5 here gives us 7. 2 here is 1. 2 here gives us 28. Now multiplying together, we have the area is equal to this times this is 7, and 7 times 8 gives us 56. So we write 6, take 5. Then multiply this, it gives us 14 plus 5 gives us 19. And 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And when you divide a number by 1, it gives you the same. So our area for this particular question is 196 square units. And I hope you really learned something today. Don't forget to tell us how much. Give this a like. Sharing it helps the algorithm to send it to more people that need this skill. Thank you for always choosing to lend to us. I'll see you in the next class. Bye.